Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm super excited for our collaboration with HAI Supply. If you are unfamiliar with our lights, I'm going to show you how they work and give you some quick and easy tips to get more bang for the buck with those. And then I'm also going to show you how you can incorporate some of the beautiful washi papers and the flat back gems with your light up cards. So let's get started. The first thing I want to show you is how the easy lights work. Now this is a five pack. They come in two, three, five, or even 20 packs. You snap them apart. They come with the batteries and you'll see when you snap them apart, you have basically this little unit here and three wires with yellow dots at the end. Those are the lights. Like I said, they come with the batteries. There is a little positive side or a little plus sign on the positive side. That's the, the top. You wanna slide it in and then you press the button. And can you see we've got three little lights that light up. And all you're gonna do is tape down the lights where you want them and then tape down the battery where you want that. So to tape them down, I usually use a clear scotch tape. You can use washi tape or whatever you want, but if you're using the uh, scotch tape, it doesn't matter if you cover up the light or not because the light would go right through it. So at the end of the wire, there are the yellow dots. The yellow dots are the lights. And what I would do is figure out where I want the light to be, and then I can just put some tape right over it to um, tape down the, the battery pack. I like to use a strong tape like score tape. You can use any, any double stick tape that you have, um, but make sure that it's, it's a nice strong one because there's a little bit of weight with the battery there. So you want it to stay flat. And imagine that this is a card base. So you would have your light taped down or all three of your lights probably, but in this case I'm just showing you with the one. Um, and the little purple dot is your button. You press it, it lights up. Now, I want to show you some of the cool things with the HAI gems. All of the clear or the translucent ones, you can put right on top of your gem, or I'm sorry, on top of your light, and the whole gem will light up. Now you would probably put this on a card front and your light would be on the back. But you can see how it lights up the whole thing. So this is a cool little teardrop shape. Imagine that for the top of birthday candles, that kind of thing. And then also the, the colored gems and the translucent ones, like the white one. See how the whole thing will light up? So if you had your lights inside your card and then you poke a little hole for the light to, to shine through the card front and then cover it up with a gem. When the person presses the button, the whole gem lights up. And again, like I said, that, that will work for the colored gems as well, as long as they are translucent. But look at this red one. It might be kind of hard to see with all of the studio lights on, but that's glowing red, which would be fun for like Rudolph or Christmas trees, that kind of stuff. Now there are some other gems like this guy here, you see how it has a silver back? The silver back is opaque, so the light does not really shine through it. It would pop around it. But you can take a little pokey tool and kind of scratch through there. And all you need is just a, enough scratched away um, for the size of the light. You don't need to scratch all of it off. And I apologize, this will be a little slow. Let's see if I got enough of that. But can you see? The light will come through that way. And if you scratch off enough of it, it'll light up the whole entire gem, which is pretty neat. So you have that option as well. Now, like I was saying, imagine it was a birthday candle. And I'm just gonna take a punch and punch a hole right at the base of that flame. And then I can find it here. Now can you see it's not lighting up the whole flame, just the very bottom, obviously. And this is just for demonstration purposes here. But I wanna show you with those clear drops 
There we go. You see how it'll light up more of that whole flame? It looks like a candle flame, which I think is really cool. And this package of the clear drops has multiple sizes in there. So those are um, a couple options. Now I want to show you how you can use this with some of the washi papers. There are some beautiful washi papers. Um, I have gone ahead and cut out a couple circles and a little rectangle because I want to make paper lanterns. So let's use our light here for real in a card. And I'll get some of these guys out of the way. Here are the circles that I cut. See, I just cut them out of that paper. And then a little triangle, or I'm sorry, rectangle, which I thought is really pretty. And then, do you have one of these? Do you remember these paper crimpers? I'm just going to go ahead and take it and roll it through. And I'll do the same thing for these guys. And we've got kind of these little wavy wavy circles now. So those will be our lanterns and we're going to put lights behind them. I have ink blended a background and then I just took a gold marker and drew a little line because I want the, the lanterns to hang from there. This will be our card base. Nothing fancy there. I did ink blend the background with some blues and it's kind of lighter where the, the lanterns will be just, just for fun. Okay, so what we're obviously going to want to do is cover up our lights. Oh, and notice I did go ahead and stamp push here down at the bottom. And I stamped it in a dark blue ink so that it would kind of be subtle, but it's still there. That's from this Happy Doodle set, which I carry in the shop. Um, I like this set because it has tiny words there. Um, there are some other uh, stamp sets kind of like this as well from different companies, but uh, this is my, my favorite one. I use this all the time. So, um, so my ink panel is kind of ready for us to figure out where our three lights are going to be. And then my phone died and I needed to back it up a little bit. So we'll get our lights where we want those to be. And then once we figure out where the center is, I'm going to poke a hole through and I've got that for all three of the lights there. You see I've poked holes here. Now normally what I do is I would take my pencil and I would mark through those holes onto the card base and I would hover my pencil and mark a dot on the card base as well where the purple button would go. But in this case I want to actually glue or adhere the lights in place here and we'll stick the button here as well too. So I'm just going to work on the back side. It's going to make that much easier. So I've got my light. I'm going to grab a piece of tape. And then remember I said the yellow dot is the light. If you flip it over on the back side you would see the little wires there. Um, so that's how you know it's the back of the front will glow nice and bright. And we want to stick the front of the wire or of the light through the hole. So just kind of put it in place there and tape it down. And then I'll do the same thing with the other two. Just making sure that that little yellow face is in the hole. And then when we flip it over and we press the button, you can see the lights are coming up through the holes there. Okay, so now I'll grab that super tape and I'm just going to cut off a little piece here. If I were building this and taping the lights to the card base instead, then I would put the tape on the back of the, the battery pack here. But in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and stick it down to the back side here. So I'm going to put the adhesive right on top of the battery holder there. 
and I'll peel off that release paper and then I'm going to carefully line it up so that the where I've stamped push here is right on top of that purple button and I can kind of test it before I stick it down and that works so I'll stick it in place just like that and we press there we go okay so grab some more tape and these extra wires we're just going to take and sort of twist up you don't want to put any sharp folds in them but you can put soft little gentle curves i just kind of coil it up if you make any bends too sharp then you could run into an issue where the wire might accidentally crack or break they're pretty small and they're pretty flexible so it's not really that much of a worry but if you fold it really sharp you could damage them so be careful about that and then you'll notice that that battery has a thickness so that is about the same thickness as a double piece of foam tape a single layer this is kind of the regular stuff it's only half as thick so if I, I only have double or single regular foam tape um, then I double it up but I do have the double thick here and I carry this in my shop as well this is a nice one this is the same one that um, Leslie from Heavy Doodle uses and I carry it here in my shop because it has a really easy release paper this is my favorite so I will take that and kind of just put around the edges here one other thing before we go too far if you're gonna mail this and you don't want the battery to die in shipping you can take a little piece of paper that kind of goes between the battery and the easy light there and obviously you would make it that long but see how I wrote remove then um, when you push on it the lights don't work and you would want to make sure not to put any foam tape or anything that would grab it um, if I have it further up here and I put foam tape around the edges I just don't peel off the release paper so that the foam tape could sit in between but here it's close enough to the edge it's not a problem and then when we pull this out you can see it works again so that's an option if you're going to mail it. Now, I'll just take my double thickness of foam tape. Kind of put it around the edges here. If you were sticking this to your card base and you had a big area instead of a little tiny dot for the light to come through, um, you would want to make sure not to put foam tape in the window area. But I do not have a big window area here, so it's not an issue for me. So I'm just kind of going around the perimeter, and here we go. And you can stick the foam right over these wires that the red and the blue that you see on the wire that's actually a plastic coating so they can touch and they won't short out at all you don't have to worry about that and you can put foam tape right on top of them sometimes if you're building your own circuit um, with the copper tape or the maker tape you'd want to make sure not to put any um, foam tape on top of them where it might connect the two. Sometimes the adhesive is conductive, but for easy lights, that is not anything that you have to worry about. Okay, so peeled off all that release paper. I'm just gonna kinda line it up here. There we go, press the button, it works. Now I want our lanterns. So you can see if I put the light right there, you'd have a hot spot. If I elevate it, the whole lantern lights up more. Do you see that? So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use more foam tape. And I just grabbed a piece of gold paper here and I've got a single layer, the regular 
thin foam tape, not the double. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut a couple little pieces for the top and bottom of my lanterns. And I have this thinner piece for this guy too. And for the lanterns, if you were making them more traditional, you could put little tassels down at the bottom. I actually found these in my stash, but I think they're a little too big, too gaudy for what I'm looking for here. But what I'm going to do is just take this tape and actually, why did I do that? Kind of stick it in place here. Tweezers are super handy for this kind of thing. And no light will show, it. the light will go around that foam tape. It's not going to go under. If you are using something where you wanted to have the light shine through and the foam could be an issue, um, you can use Cooltac or there are some other uh, clear acrylic foam tapes on the market. The light goes right through it. It's crystal clear. Um, but in this case, I don't need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing for these other pieces here. And this foam tape is not the double. It has the regular release paper that wants to fight. And I'm just going to kind of hold it here. Line that up. Okay, and I'll do that other one off camera. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive here. Oops, and glue it to my finger instead of. And the same thing here. And you see how it kind of spreads that light out a little bit more. Pull it a little tighter here. It gives me a gap between the light and the lantern. Okay, off camera I went ahead and I added my other little lantern here, the word celebrate. I stacked it up a couple times just to make it pretty. And then I am using Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and a jewel picker to adhere a few more of the gems to the front of this card. They don't always have to be lit up, they can just be decorations here. And of course my jewel picker being funny because we're on camera. Okay. This is one of my favorites. This is the like the crystal. They're clear, but they have an AB finish on it. Makes it really pretty. And let me turn down the studio lights real quick so you can see. This will give you a better idea of the lights. See how it lights them up? Super pretty. Alright guys, thanks so much and I'm really excited to see what you create.